Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. Today's video is a collaboration, and the theme of this collab is Halloween treats. I want to say thank you to everyone who joined in on this. I'll have a playlist linked in my description box below, so as soon as you get done watching this video, go check it out and see what everyone else came up with. So if you're ready to make some Halloween treats, then let's get started. Okay, as a special request from my daughter, I'm going to start out with some Halloween cheesecake squares. I'm going to place 36 chocolate sandwich cookies, aka Oreos, into this blender here and I am going to blend them and ground them into fine crumbs. Okay, now I'm going to add in five tablespoons of melted butter and I'm just going to pour it right into the blender here and give it another mix. Okay, that's done. I have an eight by eight baking pan here. I've lined it with aluminum foil and I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick spray. Now I'm just gonna dump in my Oreos and butter and just press it until it's an even layer. I have that all pressed in here. I'm gonna set it to the side and start on the cheesecake filling. I have two blocks of cream cheese that I've let come to room temperature and I'm gonna add in a half of a cup of sugar, a fourth cup of sour cream, a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm gonna cream this together. Scrape the sides of the bowl down and mix again. Okay, make sure to mix your cream cheese mixture very well because now we're going to add in an egg. I know I shouldn't be breaking it into the bowl. And now we're gonna mix it just until combined. Do not ever mix. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna take a third of this and put it in this bowl and a third of the mixture into this bowl and I'm gonna color them three different colors. And I'm using the gel food coloring. Now I've got my crust here. I'm just gonna spoon the mixture in and just spoon it in different areas. I'm gonna try to keep the colors separated a little bit and then I'll swirl them all together.
Now just use something to swirl it around and kind of even it out. And just work it into the spots that don't have any of the filling. And be very careful not to disturb the Oreo crust. All right, I'm gonna put this in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. While that's in the oven, I'm gonna start on some spider dirt pies. I bought some ready-made pie crust, the mini ones. I also bought some Twizzlers. Now, the original recipe called for the pull and peel Twizzlers, but we don't care for the black licorice so I found these Hershey's chocolate Twizzlers. So we're just gonna leave them as is. They did, I couldn't find these in the pull and peel and we'll be using these to make the spider legs. So our spiders will just have really thick legs. <laughs> and these are super cute. You could use these for all kinds of things. And I just made some chocolate jello pudding using the instructions on the back of the box. And I'm just gonna fill each of these shells up with some pudding. I'm, I'm about to make a mess here. Already. I have all my pie shells filled up and I just used a small 3.9 ounce box of the chocolate pudding mix, instant. I put some Oreos in a Ziploc bag and crushed them up and I'm just gonna sprinkle them over the pudding mixture. Now I have the Twizzlers. I'm just gonna cut them into thirds and give these spiders some legs. Okay, now we're gonna use some red M&Ms to give them some eyes. Now that just turned out so cute. The kids are gonna love these. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator to chill and we'll start on something else. <laughs> now I'm gonna make some mummy hand pies and I have this ready to bake pie crust I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna fill half of them with Nutella and half of them with apple butter. I've got one of the sheets of pie crust here. I'm just gonna roll it out to smooth it down a little bit. Now I'm gonna cut some rectangles and they do not have to be perfect. I 
have some apple butter here. I'm gonna put a little bit onto each rectangle, making sure not to go to the edge. I'm gonna fill the others with a Nutella. It's not quite as easy to spread the Nutella out, but I got it done. I'm going to use this leftover dough and cut small strips. I'm going to use these strips to make little crisscrosses over the rectangles. But first, I'm gonna I have an egg white here. I'm gonna brush it just around the edges. I'm going to trim these edges away. I've got my baking pan here. I'm going to transfer them. And I kind of ran out of the pie dough to make the little crisscross shapes. So I'm going to use this excess, what I've trimmed off, to kind of fill in. I've brushed these with an egg white and I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of sugar and bake them at 350 for about 20 minutes. This is what they look like. They are not perfect, but we're gonna put some little eyeballs on them and they are gonna be yummy. The cheesecake is done. I'm gonna cut this into squares and I'm about to take the mummy hand pies out of the oven. I'm gonna add some eyes to them and then I'll show you what everything looks like. Here's the mummy hand pies. They turned out perfect. I'm gonna put some little cute eyeballs on them and I'll be done. All this was pretty easy to make, and it turned out so cute. Thank you.
Okay, Lacey's gonna do a taste test for us. Yeah. <laughs> she had picture day today. That's mm. why she's all fancy. <laughs> Are you ready for Halloween? <clears throat> <laughs> I get lots and lots of candy. You do? <laughs> Buddy wants a treat too. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to check out the playlist below for more Halloween treat ideas. But before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.